A unique chapter of Australia's history is being reopened on Sydney Harbour, hoping to unlock the secrets of our first international airport. Archaeologists have begun the first ever survey of the site at Rose Bay, where remnants of the past have been hidden for almost four decades. A lot has changed at Rose Bay since 1938, when it was home to Australia's first international airport, Qantas flying boats connecting Sydney to the world. A replica signpost and memorial plaque remain as tributes to a bygone era, but many secrets have been hidden for decades. It would have been used as a hold down point for the aeroplanes. Overlooked by progress ever since the boat stopped flying in 1974. The locals have been saying to us they still remember them coming here in the 70s and how spectacular it was to watch them land and take off. Sterling Smith is leading the first ever archaeological survey of the site. Already discovering remnants of the slipway, anchor points and wharf underwater. Even an old refuelling point on the original apron, now within the Willara Sailing Club. There's lots of things we've learnt um, and there's probably more things to learn after we put all the data together and then analyse it. This field is where the aircraft hangars once stood. Ground penetrating radar being used to search for any remaining structures under the surface. We can certainly see objects down there. The idea is that we'll then correlate them with some aerial imagery and see if they relate to some of the old buildings. All of the discoveries made here will be recorded and this area remapped not only to help preserve what's left but also better educate future generations about this unique chapter in our past. For many of the Sydney University archaeology students helping with the project, the seaplanes of today were all they'd ever known. People like me, I didn't know this existed anyway. I only heard about the flying boat base when I got here. So if we can raise public awareness of this important and significant site, uh, I think we'll be doing well. Alex Hart, 7 News.